Uh, I'm David Thorne with uh, West Virginia DNR. Uh, I'm a cold water fisheries biologist for the state, and we're here on a small stream in Tucker County uh, collecting some native brook trout today. Today we're going to collect uh, up to maybe 30 or 40 individuals. We'll get a little fin clip from them and uh, from that information we'll be able to tell how good the population is, um, how diverse their genetics are, uh, whether there's any uh, uh, conservation threats to the population based on um, too few individuals, whether, they're, whether there's good uh, uh, lots of parents creating the offspring in the stream. Uh, it's part of a broader uh, uh, effort we're interested in to characterize the genetics of our uh, brook trout in streams that drain to the Ohio River Basin. We're interested in the resilience of our native brook trout populations because they're uh, an obligate cold water fish, which means they have to have cold water. And one of the reasons we're concerned about them is the impacts we see with changes in our local climate, um, whether they're global influences or local influences, um, we see changes to our streams, the flow patterns, they get really dry in the summer, um, they're subject to more extreme flooding, and so we're interested in protecting those streams and doing things with their habitat and with the landscape upstream to make these streams more resilient so they'll stay cold and so these brook trout populations will persist for generations to come. If you get a chance, go visit your uh, brook trout stream near you. Um, they're easy to catch generally. Uh, they're very fun to catch. They live in beautiful places and uh, makes for a great getaway. Especially